Hi everyone, welcome to this new video which is second part in the series Shape Memory Alloy Modeling with Mark Mentat. If you did not see the first part, the link is provided in the description box below. The example we solved in first part did not have any stresses. So in this video, we are going to complicate things little bit more and we will solve another example which is bending of orthodontic arch wire. I'm not going to start the model from scratch because that is something we already saw in earlier video. And another reason being this model is already available in Mentat. You just have to go to help go to user's guide and over here search for shape memory alloys. This is example number 52. You can find all the details over here as well. And if you just scroll down, then you have a procedure file over here. All you need to do is just click on this play button and you will reach to this point. Anyway, so let's see what we have here. I'm going to expand all the folders. Of course, we have this wire. Then let's go to boundary conditions and see what boundary conditions we have. On the top, we have fixed symmetry boundary condition and on this end, we have displacement boundary condition. Just to make sure if everything is correct, open this and you can see we have displacement in X direction of 5 millimeter and we are using this table for the displacement. That table can be found over here. This is the table where we are increasing the displacement and again decreasing it. Go back to model. We are also restricting that wire to move in Z direction. That's why this displacement Z is zero. Then the temperature is defined over here in state variable element temperature. You can see right now it is 35 degrees. Next, let's see the material card. We are using thermostructural model. Elastic properties of austenite and martensite are provided here. We have thermal coefficient of expansion as well. But in this example, temperature is not changing. So this is not going to play any part. We have plasticity defined over here. The transformation temperatures are over here. Initially, we are starting with zero volume fraction of martensite. Hence, entire part is austenite. Transformation temperatures for austenite. And finally, the G function. Say OK. Two load cases are defined. First one second. And here both boundary conditions will be active. And similarly, another one second. Here also both boundary conditions will be active. We can define it within one single load case as well. This is just to maintain the loading and unloading separately. Then job is created. Both load cases are selected. There is an initial load where we are selecting this temperature as well. And in job results, we are asking for volume fraction of martensite and equivalent von Mises stress. Say OK. Let's go to run and submit the job. Let's open the results. First, let's see stresses. For that, I'm going to change this to contour bands and here von Mises stress. Now as we start loading, you can see stress concentration is happening over here and here. And once we go to 100, I think our loading will be complete. This is the maximum loading and after this there will be unloading. If we see the martensite volume fraction, initially everything is austenite. So martensite volume fraction is zero. But as stresses increases, you can see martensite forming over here in the highly stressed area. Let's go to 100. And now we see most of the austenite converted to martensite. Let's start the unloading. And after unloading, again we are back to austenite. So to do that, I'm going to close this. Close this. And over here, we just have to change this to 5. That's it. And run the job again. Let's see if we got different volume fraction of martensite. Loading. It should be same. Here the larger portion of wire got converted to martensite because we shifted the loading line towards left. Now when we do unloading, we can see martensite was not converted back to austenite. So that's all for this video. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions and I will see you in the next one.